to Telecom proudly presents The Entrepreneur, the TV show that will determine new pioneers with groundbreaking business ideas. The winner of the competition will be awarded 2 million dirhams, which includes 1 million dirhams investment from Do, a telecom's bundle of business services supplied by Do, one year's free office space courtesy of Silicon Oasis founders, an advertising and PR package from the Leo Burnett Group, mentoring and networking support provided by WAMDA, 12 months of advisory and consultancy assistance from Ernst & Young, free media and editorial from CPI. Hello, I'm Tom Urquhart and welcome to The Entrepreneur, a brand new show that gives you that once in a lifetime opportunity to turn your dreams into a reality. So do you really think that your business idea is worth one million dirhams and are you willing to join us on our visionary roller coaster? Well, this is exactly how it's going to happen. Over the course of the show, we'll be involving the support of and meeting a number of leaders from various fields in the world of business as we try to uncover our entrepreneur. We've had up to 2,000 applications, which have been filtered down through a variety of essential criteria to a top 100, who will audition in front of our expert panel of judges, and they will literally be pitching to their future. Now after that, it's up to our judges to select their top 10 business ideas to make it through to the semi-final stages. And of that top 10, we will of course be naming our entrepreneur. It is an incredible opportunity, but let me tell you this, our judges aren't here to waste time and they're certainly not here to waste money either. So, are you ready to pitch for your future? Before we begin, let me introduce to you four individuals who are very important to this task. I present to you, for the first time, the one and only judging panel of The Entrepreneur. Nisreen Shokir, President of Virgin Megastore for the MENA region. I was awarded Female CEO of the Year Award in 2011. I collect vinyl toys, I collect Polaroids as well, Polaroid cameras, Polaroid film. Some are outdated and expired, but uh, they still create beautiful images. What made me successful in my career in the entertainment industry was my love for music and film. As an entrepreneur, your passion for your idea, your love for what you do is what's going to set you apart. You have to have an emotional connection with the idea that you're presenting to us today. Passion is what I'm looking for in the winner of The Entrepreneur. Yogesh Mehta, Managing Director, Owner of Petrochem Middle East. We started Petrochem in 1995 uh, with two people and a very, very small office. But before you know it, we were 235 people and a billion dollar turnover. It never came easy. It was all hard work, great thinking, and some bit of luck. Luck is something that you make. Luck is not something that you say that I'm unlucky so I won't get out of bed and do nothing. Luck is a combination of being in the right place at the right time. And my advice, especially to my son, is always be honest. One can make mistakes in life, but one should not repeat the mistakes. Uh, and I've always followed that as my mantra. For me, the greatest entrepreneur is a person with a vision, a person with strong work ethics. Be hopeful and I wish you all the luck. Monal Gurg, Director of Retail for the Isa Saleh Group of Companies. I enjoy traveling to different parts of the world and particularly because I collect art. Growth is a part of every entrepreneur's journey and what motivated me to grow is when I received the Emirates Women's Award in the business category. This led me to be a speaker to women and to youth 
to develop their skills and knowledge. I also enjoy helping people in third world countries, especially in education. Education is the key to growth. As an entrepreneur, you will always face challenges. The most important thing is to believe in your idea and to focus on the end goal, whether you're a man or a woman. The entrepreneur that I will be choosing will have to be innovative and passionate. Abdul Basid Al Janahi, Chief Executive Officer of Dubai SME. I have great passion for helping people, helping startups, and uh, this is where I get my uh, happiness really. My favorite hobby is motocross. Uh, I like to be in the outdoors in the desert and I think this helped me a lot in terms of understanding that the risk that I can take being in the desert, leading people. Uh, I have a lot of people who follow me uh, and I have to make sure that they arrive safely and, and are having a lot of fun too. An entrepreneur is like a train that wants to reach to another point and there is no path but he creates his own path, regardless of mountains, of water, he gets there, no matter what happens. An entrepreneur is a persistent person who knows what he wants to do. So those are our all-important judges, and of course it is they who will be finding or looking for the best entrepreneur. Now it's time to meet my companion in this journey of discovery, Anthea Ayer. She was down at the auditions at the Pavilion downtown Dubai. Now a quick reminder that out of the up to 100 down there at the auditions, only 10 will go through to the next phase of the competition. So who's got it and who doesn't have it? Anthea can tell us a little more. And Anthea certainly looks very busy down there at the moment. I'm sure the tension is building as we speak. But are the nerves getting the better of any of our applicants? Hi, Tom. Yes, so we've spoken to a number of contestants in the audition room this morning, and it's a whole mixed bag of emotions. Some people a little bit nervous, some people really quite confident. But everybody wondering what are they going to be asked by the judges? We have created a website, which is the first online multi-store gift registry in the UAE. First time you've ever pitched to a panel of judges? Yes, it is, yes. Okay, well, there's always a first time for everything. Yeah. <laughs> My idea is we're starting up a website, which is so we're trying to develop a world platform and online shopping mall. Uh, it's more than a year that I have the idea. So it's like, I, I know what it is and I know the concept very well. I'm here to pitch my business, which is called um, Satori Satori, and it's effectively an avant-garde brand of ladies' evening wear. Welcome back to The Entrepreneur, the show that turns your business idea into a dream come true. The contestants are getting ready and Anthea's there with them. seems to be plenty of ideas and plenty of different personalities in this room today so I reckon we should just go and have a little look and see what some of them are up to. Where did you come up with the idea? Uh, I was sleeping one night and just woke up with it. Yeah two million dirham push would be nice. So you're either quietly confident or you're quietly nervous which one of the two? I'm hopeful. My knees are like jelly right now. You're wearing plastic bottles at the moment? Yes I've got 30 plastic bottles in my shorts and uh, three plastic bottles in a t-shirt. In That's amazing. Do you mind if I just have a feel of your t-shirt? Unbelievable. Plastic bottles? Didn't feel like it. I'm ready to do this. Hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you feeling? Terrific. 
mind-blowing, amazing, awesome, excellent, surprising, fascinating Anthea. Well, preparation's the key, but uh, I mean, never say never. Some are nervous, but others have their own way of dealing with the stress, such as singing, dancing, and doing magic tricks. Um, actually, we, we have been a little bit nervous, but uh, we have a little tradition about doing a little dance. Usually in a bathroom, we feel a bit nervous, so we've done that. Please, yeah. please, can we see the dance? Please, we have to see the dance. That's going to win you a place, in, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I can show you one more trick, the last one, before I go. <laughs> Amazing! A round of applause, well done. I'll try some of the ice cream.